Hello everyone, this is La Quintero and I am here to do a quick reading for like current energy. So this is going to be quick for like current energy. Today is Friday. I believe I believe it's the 11th. So I heard 12, 11. 12, 11. So keep in mind that the reading it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reader might resonate. Other parts of the reader might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can resonate today, currently. Um, it can resonate later on down the line in time, after today. Or well, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. All right, so I know my shirt a little wrinkled, but this is like my pajama shirt. So somebody could be marrying somebody else. Collective, your lover, your ex, or somebody else's lover, or somebody else's ex. Somebody could be marrying someone else. Page of swords. Somebody could be spying, doing research, telling I have truth. I also heard somebody knows their stuff. Because sometimes the page of swords and um could be somebody who's very uh um quick with it. Or somebody who knows their stuff. Like the page of swords to start talking and um I heard the page of swords to start talking and people didn't know that the page of swords could talk or people didn't know that the page of swords was knowledgeable about something. And it's still there, yeah. The page of swords. So I heard somebody knows their stuff, that page of swords. I also heard the page of swords could get estimate underestimated at times or a lot. The page of swords gets underestimated because they don't talk much, but they know their stuff. Very knowledgeable, very skilled. I also heard the page of swords could be unexpected. So collective, the page of swords could be someone who could be connected to you. And something could be going on with the page of swords. And the page of swords might come and like tell you everything or start rambling. It's like the page of swords might finally come and talk to you. The page of swords could be dealing with a lover. The page of swords could be a man. And it's like he might have to make a decision to disappoint one woman and marry somebody else. Or the page of swords could be a female and she could be finding out that her lover is got not going to marry her. He's going to marry somebody else. So somebody that usually don't talk to you might come and start chit-chatting, like talking a lot. Or something like that. All right, Spirit, give me self-care for the collective. Y'all could also be the page of swords, too. Y'all might do something risky today. Y'all might have a conversation with someone that you could have been trying to avoid 
um, or something like that. Okay, so abundance. So something going on with money. Being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So something going on about finances, money, abundance. All right, so what's the overall energy currently? Awareness. So you guys could be, um, this is the magician. You guys could be um, a Virgo or a Gemini, don't have to be. Or you're dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. But you guys could be manifesting, manifesting something. Or you guys are aware of something. You or somebody else. Somebody's very aware of something. Or somebody knows exactly what they have to do. Or somebody knows exactly what they need in order to manifest. Or somebody knows what they have to do. Or somebody's a manifester or in the process of manifesting. So, y'all could be a financial advisor. Or you're going to see a financial advisor or something like that. Or y'all want to manifest something concerning y'all finances. And then we got the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And then the ace of pentacles. So something is really four pentacles. So collective, you or somebody else could be holding back. It's like, this could also be a bank. It's like this bank have this offer. The bank have this Ace of Pentacles or somebody have this Ace of Pentacles, but they want to collaborate with you first or you have to collaborate with this um with this company in order to get that Ace of Pentacles. Or somebody could be trying to like disqualify someone or discriminate against someone or something. Or in order to get that Ace of Pentacles, you have to collaborate the 3 of Pentacles. <clears throat> well some of y'all could be um making uh financial sacrifices so it's like collective you could be saving up like you have this ace of pentacles so this ace of pentacles could be like three thousand dollars and you could be collaborating trying to get um a house a car and it's like you've been saving up for this house or this car for a down payment. Um, so it's like once you cash out, it's like you're going to be penny pinching once you cash out. But it was some sort of sacrifice or investment. But once you cash out on this Ace of Pentacles, it's like you might be penny pinching or something like that. Or some of y'all could be self-employed. So some of y'all might cash out today or you cashed out recently. And because of it, you like your penny pension or something like that. So you could have been saving for a cause. It was for a reason for you saving or something. All right, Spirit, what do um, the collective lover want to say to the collective current energies? So your lover still care about you. Your lover knew something all along. They knew it all along. And your lover connect with you at night. So this could be an ex. Don't have to be. I also heard for somebody collective. This could be a lover that you rejected in the past. Or. Somebody could have friend zoned someone. Somebody wanted something more serious. Collective you with his lover. And somebody friend zoned someone. But this lover still care about you. They knew something all along. And they connect with you at night. And I need to see you. So some of y'all, your lover feel as though they need to see you. Your lover have trouble expressing themselves.
All right. Spirit, give me the tea. Current energies. What's the tea? Gossip, everybody knows. Collective, somebody could be gossiping about you. And your lover, no. Somebody could be gossiping about you. And your lover, no. Gossip, everybody knows. Or collective, somebody be gossiping about your lover and your lover is aware of it. But maybe your lover don't care. Or your lover want to know what, how do you feel about the gossip or, or what's your stance against the gossip about the gossip against them? Gossip, everybody knows. So everybody knows something, somebody gossiping. Control issues manipulator. So somebody could be being accused of being a manipulator. It's either true or it's not true. But it's some gossip going on. Everybody knows. Confused. Somebody confused. So this manipulator could be confused. Or somebody could be trying to figure out where is the gossip coming from. Where did the gossip originate from? And somebody could be confused trying to figure out um, what is rumor coming from or something like that. Or this manipulator is confused. Somebody confused. So if some gossip going on, everybody knows. Controls through sex. And collective, somebody blaming everything on you. Because somebody want to see you suffer. Somebody wanted to see you suffer. And this person that wanted to see you suffer could have started a rumor so everybody can blame something on you. So this is the person that could have started something. Somebody that wanted to see you suffer. And that's why somebody blaming everything on you. This person right here, this person told a lie or this person exposed something. It could be true, but they could have exposed a secret or something. And now somebody blaming everything on you. So this person right here that wanted to see you suffer, th this person said something. Or expo expose something. Or this is where the lie started from. With this person I want to see you suffer. Collective. This could be your co competitor in love. Yeah. It's a third party situation in love out here. And somebody's um somebody's playing both sides. So I'm gonna give an example. Collective, say like you a divine feminine. And your divine masculine is messing around with this karmic right here. Because this karmic is mad about you being in a picture. What this karmic is doing is going out and starting rumors about you and your twin. But your divine masculine don't think that it's this karmic doing it, but it's this karmic doing it. Well, collective, you could you could be a man and you're dating a karmic. And you could have put her in a third party situation or something. And somebody's gossiping. And this person that's gossiping, this manipulator, they control through sex. And collective, that's why somebody's blaming everything on you. But it's this person right here that did something. But um, they're being sneaky. Somebody being sneaky.
Because somebody really trying to control somebody through sex. And this person a manipulator. So it could be some people confused. Because somebody um, has control issues and they're a manipulator and they control through sex. But it's a third party or something out here. And somebody's being sneaky. And I heard they're unsuspecting because they're sleeping with someone. Or they want to be the only one sleeping with someone. So somebody could be trying to rail someone in for a committed relationship. Somebody could be trying to cause trouble to cause someone to be in a committed relationship with them or something. So collective, if you were a man and you was cheating on, like on, on a karmic or something, this karmic is starting some type of gossip. But you don't think it's her, but it's her. But she really has control issues and she likes to control you through sex. I heard because she likes to control you through sex, she don't like the fact that you're cheating on her. Because she want to be in control of sex. So if she's controlling the sex or she feels as though her sex is the best, why are you cheating on her? Or why do you need somebody else for sex or something? Or, collective, you a divine feminine, and this going on with your divine masculine and his karmic. And your divine masculine could be confused. He don't know what's going on or who's saying what or what. It's this karmic. Or it's like this female could have been doing sex magic or a love spell. And it's like your divine masculine still prefer you in the bedroom or prefer you in general. So what this karmic doing is just being sneaky and telling lies and starting gossip. That's what this karmic doing. I heard either way she could be being sneaky. It's like she was being sneaky about doing the sex magic, the love spell. And when she found out it wasn't working, she's still being sneaky. Now she's starting gossip. And y'all divine masculine could be confused. But it's a karmic. Somebody has control issues, they're a manipulator, and they like to manipulate in the bedroom. Or this, it's like this female want to be number one in the bedroom or something. Or she don't like competition or something like that. So, Divine Masculine, if you cheating on a karmic, it could be rumors going around that you're a narcissist. You don't take care of your kids. You hit on this woman. And you like, whoa, whoa, where is these rumors coming from, this karmic? Because this karmic know you cheating. Or this love spell she doing not working. Or this sex magic not working. So, I heard two layers. Two layers of sneakiness. That's why it's confusion going on. Somebody confused? So, collective, you a divine masculine, this going on with you, and you could have two lovers, or a divine feminine, this was going on with your divine masculine and his karmic. And your divine masculine could be confused. Collective, for some of y'all, your divine masculine could be blaming everything on you because he don't think his karmic lover doing this, but it's her. He probably think it's you because maybe you the third party or something, but it could be this man wife or something. I also heard this could be a married divine a, man, a married divine masculine who's married to his karmic collective. You could be a tarot reader. This karmic could be a tarot reader. But I heard this divine masculine live with this karmic. So it's like if somebody doing dark magic, this man is assuming divine feminine that is you. Because I heard somebody say, I see her every day or I live with her. So, I know it's not my karmic wife doing it, but this female is doing something. This female doing something that this man don't know about. 
I heard somebody say, I see her every day. I live with her. Or Divine Feminine, you going through this. You could have a Divine Masculine, but you could be married to your karmic. And you could be blaming everything on your Divine Masculine. I heard if you a Divine Feminine going through this, your um, karmic lover, he go sees a practitioner. And you didn't know. If this is a Divine Masculine going through this, y'all feminine karmic lover, she does it. She does the spell work on the dark magic. She does it. If it's a man, he goes to someone and get it done. <clears throat> Somebody a people pleaser. This could be y'all twin. What's going on with gossip? Everybody knows. Yeah, sleeping with someone's spouse. Or somebody getting karma for sleeping with somebody's spouse. Somebody sleeping with somebody's spouse. Collective, for some of you guys, your divine masculine getting karma because he's sleeping with somebody's spouse. But it's like this karmic could be um, kind of like controlling your divine masculine. This karmic could be married to somebody else. And she's trying to pull your divine masculine in. So y'all divine masculine could be sleeping with somebody else's spouse. And this karmic um, is married to somebody else. She has control issues. She's a manipulator. And she likes to control your divine masculine through sex. I heard because she's married, that's all she want or that's all she need because she married. So she doing something to somebody to buy masculine. And somebody need to be careful of an STD. Um... Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, your Divine Masculine could be confused because... Your divine masculine could be aware this woman is married. And he confused about how this woman, how he got an STD. So y'all divine masculine might get an STD from this karmic who's married to somebody else. And he confused. Y'all Divine Masculine don't know that. This karmic a manipulator. That's why he confused. So maybe y'all Divine Masculine think that this female is like shy or something. Something. Somebody confused. Because somebody being sweet. Yeah, jealous. So it's a manipulator out here with control issues. They're jealous. But something could also be going on because somebody could be losing control of a spell. This person could be confused. So jealousy could be causing somebody confusion. Or a spell is backfiring and this person confused. Or this karmic female could be married to a karmic. Masculine. And Divine Feminine, this karmic couple, it's like this karmic man is telling his karmic wife to manipulate y'all Divine Masculine. That could be going on too. It could be a karmic couple trying to, um, I heard insinuate y'all Divine Masculine. So this is like a married couple targeting someone. And then when something go wrong... It's like this man say, tell everybody that he was sleeping with a married woman. You a married woman. Or tell him, I'm mad because he was sleeping with you and you my wife. Or <laughs> something. So it's like this karmic couple is trying to insinuate that your divine masculine was sleeping with someone's spouse. But it's like these two people like could be setting your divine masculine up or something. Um, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, your Divine Masculine didn't sleep with this karmic. 
but she wanted to sleep with him. So what this karmic and possibly her husband is saying is that your divine masculine slept with her when he really didn't. So it's this karmic couple doing this together to y'all divine masculine, y'all divine feminine, or it's this karmic female. Because for some of y'all, this didn't work. Your divine masculine or your divine feminine didn't have sex with this married person. So I heard somebody's trying to insinuate. And somebody might say, well, what you trying to say? Or something like that. Somebody might say, you believe it or you don't. I didn't sleep with someone, so you either believe it or you don't. Or your divine masculine might say to this female, well, what you trying to say? You know I didn't sleep with you, so what are you trying to say? So somebody out here trying to be slick. <clears throat> it could also be a man out here that's threatening somebody divine masculine. And some divine masculine could be like, I didn't even sleep with his wife. I may ignore them. I may ignore them or something like that. Yeah, a scorned lover holding on. Yeah. So this female could be starting trouble to make her husband jealous. Or this man is starting trouble because his wife is messing around with somebody divine masculine or something. So somebody a scorned lover holding on. Collective, for some of y'all, your divine mask, this married, this karmic married woman, this is your divine masculine's ex. And your divine masculine's ex married a karmic masculine. And while this karmic female married a karmic masculine, she was still scorned and holding on to your divine masculine, even in her marriage. She's a scorned lover still holding on to your divine masculine. For some of y'all, what I heard, what I heard this female is doing, she's mad because your divine masculine could be rejecting her. And she could be trying to get her husband to do harm to y'all divine masculine. It could be a female doing that. And this female husband could be confused. So, I'm going to give an example. Collective, say like your divine masculine got kids by this karmic female. But she was in love with your divine masculine. Your divine masculine didn't want her. So, she went off and got married to this karmic masculine. I heard it could be somebody inside of a car. Collective, this karmic female might call your divine masculine. This karmic saying something to your divine masculine, they could be sitting inside of a car, and your divine masculine is saying, man, no, no, no. And this karmic female going to say, oh, really? I tell my husband me and you had sex, or I fix it to make, to make my husband think me and you sleeping together. Or this woman might say, you're sitting in a car with a married woman. I'm married, and you got in my car, or something. This female doing. So this man, this karmic might go back to her husband and say something. Trying to start an issue between her husband and your divine masculine. But this man going to be confused. It's this female saying something to this man and he is confused. That's because this karmic lying. Because she's trying to control your divine masculine through sex. And your divine masculine don't want to have sex with her. And it could be because she married. Or this woman a troublemaker. Or this woman could be your divine masculine ex or something. But this man right here going to be confused. Because this female lying. She trying to cause a fight or something. Or it's like collective. This female could be getting into it with your divine masculine. They having a disagreement. The female could be having a conversation with her husband, but what she might say is, it's like this female could be telling her husband to offend you because you the divine feminine. Instead of this female, collective, say like this karmic female lied on your divine masculine and go back and tell her husband, 
Divine Masculine said he was going to beat me up or this is and that. It's like this female going to say, nah, leave Divine Masculine alone and just beat up his Divine Feminine. This man going to be confused like, what the hell? What you mean? It's like, why she... That's because this woman is trying to control you. This, it's a female out here lying about something because she's a scorned lover. But she's saying something to her husband or something or her new lover. And she like, no, nah, I know Divine Masculine said he was going to beat me up. But don't don't fight Divine Masculine. Just go beat up his Divine Feminine. This man like, what? That's because she lying about something. And Divine Feminine, this female, could, this karmic, could be trying to control your Divine Masculine because she's jealous of you. Or she's jealous of y'all connection. So she could be trying to have sex with y'all divine masculine. For some of y'all, this karmic female is trying to make herself relevant. So divine feminine, say like your divine masculine recently proposed to you. And this karmic female is your divine masculine ex. Your divine masculine ex could be married, but she going to hear that your divine masculine proposed to you. And she trying to um, start trouble. She trying to start trouble. Or if your divine masculine used to creep around with this, with his ex, this karmic. It's like when your divine masculine met you, he stopped creeping around with this karmic. And it's like this karmic going to find out why. It's like she might find out about you. And she's starting trouble. Or she's trying to make your divine masculine have sex with her. Or, for some of y'all, this karmic gonna ask your divine masculine who's better in the bedroom, her or you. And your divine masculine might put on his headphones and ignore this karmic. That could be y'all divine masculine. So your divine masculine could have not answered this woman. Or he could have said you was better in the bedroom. And this karmic trying to get you and your divine masculine beat up. Because he could have said you was better in the bedroom. So I heard she ain't shit or her spell work ain't either. That's what I just heard. <laughs> and she trying to get somebody beat up or something like that. <laughs> yeah, this female jealous. Or, since the sex not working, she could be trying to do spell work or love magic now. And she could be the page of swords. This female. She could be researching on how to do spells. Because she's losing control of this divine masculine, like, since he met you or something. So, this karmic female could be the page of swords. Now, she want to try to do love spells or something like that. So... I heard for some of y'all, this female is going to ask this divine masculine who better in the bedroom. And your divine masculine not going to answer her. Or your divine masculine going to say, you divine feminine, you're better in the bedroom. And this female going to go off and start rumors about you or your divine masculine. And possibly she wants somebody to get beat up too. This karmic female could be married. That This could be your divine masculine ex. And divine feminine. If your divine masculine said that your sex is better. This female might purposefully tell everybody that she's sleeping with your divine masculine. Just to spite him. Because you better in the bedroom. Or your divine masculine don't want to have sex with her. So she going. This woman married. And she going to put a rumor out and say they sleeping together or something like that so divine feminine is gossip going on that your divine masculine sleeping with someone's spouse and for some of y'all it's not true this female a karmic and she's a manipulator and she's trying to control through sex This could also be a karmic masculine doing this to a divine feminine too.
figure out what's going on. Profession. A nightmare. A professional could be going through a nightmare. Or somebody's trying to cause a professional like a nightmare. Somebody could be blackmailing somebody because they're a professional. We got blind. Something might happen unexpectedly. A controller might start something unexpectedly. A manipulator. Something's not really a natural disaster. Somebody might not survive. Or somebody did something on purpose. Or somebody going through a nightmare because someone might not survive. I also see somebody could have put a conflict spell in somebody's energy. Or somebody started a rumor. And then they sitting back and now they scared. So this is like this karmic. On purpose, going back to her husband, telling her husband that Divine Masculine was trying to sleep with her. She knows she's lying, and then she at home scared, like, oh my God, I hope my um husband and Divine Masculine don't get into a fight. And then it's like, if something happened, this female going to say, I didn't do it on purpose. But yes, she did. So y'all Divine Masculine might not see something coming. Or this karma makes somebody feel awkward. Or somebody start in trouble for a professional. And it's like this professional don't even know. Or something like that. Somebody might not survive. Or somebody saying something was an accident and it wasn't. Or some, something was risky and it, it's not or something. Somebody could also be lazy. So this could be a professional with a, um, a business partner. And somebody's business partner could be lazy. <laughs> and it's like this professional not aware of it. Or somebody need to check on their business partner. Somebody's business partner could be going through something. This person might not survive. Or y'all need to check in on someone who was like supposed to come into work and didn't. Because somebody not, not might not survive. A nightmare. It's like somebody a profession they at work. And this person don't know somebody going through a, might, a nightmare and might not survive. So some of y'all need to check on co-workers or your business partner. Because this professional probably don't know something. Or somebody could be causing trouble for somebody at work. Some type, some type of drama might happen at somebody's job or something. Because somebody did something on purpose. Like they did a conflict spell and then this person. Somebody starting trouble out of jealousy. And then when something pop off, this person going to say, oh my God, I didn't do it on purpose or something like that. And it's like, if you didn't, why would you tell your husband that? Yes, you did or something. So this could be a female trying to get her ex hurt because she's a manipulator because her ex don't want to have sex with her or her ex told her that her, his new lover is better than her in the bedroom. Because she asked. Yeah, that this energy could be a page, a page. Somebody childish as hell. That page of swords. I heard somebody don't like the truth. They ask questions, then they don't like the truth. That page of swords. Yeah, the two of cups flew out sideways. Somebody could be going through a breakup. Or somebody asking somebody, you love me? And somebody like, I don't know. Or something. 
or somebody could be in the process of a breakup or this could be like a reconciliation or this could be some spell some spell work getting stuck somebody wanted to like um make someone be in a soulmate connection with them it might get stuck or somebody going through a breakup yeah then we got the knight of cups yeah somebody wanted somebody to make them an offer um, I also heard this karmic energy could be going through a breakup or a divorce. And they want your divine masculine or divine feminine to be their third party. While they go th through this breakup or divorce. Or somebody not getting along with their lover. And they want to cheat or something like that. Collective, for some of y'all, this could be your business rivalry or your competitor in love. This person might not, might not survive a nightmare. Or somebody lazy or something like that. The Queen of Cups. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be very intuitive. Somebody could be a water sign. All right, so. That Queen of Cups could be reminiscing about something that happened in the past, too. Or that Queen of Cups could be stagnating something on purpose. The Queen, y'all could be the Queen of Cups and y'all could be aware of something. Y'all could be aware someone's trying to do spell work on you. So, collective, for some of you guys, you the magician, and you the queen of cups, too. And you already know in the back of your mind what you got to do or what you want to do to manifest some type of stagnation. That something that needs to be stagnated. Somebody could be trying to put a love spell on you or your divine masculine or something. Or something like that. In the back of y'all mind, y'all already know what y'all got to do. For some of y'all, I heard you're going to stagnate your twin because you know your twin is not telling you something. So you're going to stack cause stagnation to something because you know somebody not telling you something. And collective, for some of y'all, this could be something as simple as something could be going on with your divine masculine. And what your divine masculine is not telling you is that the karmic called him and he met up with the karmic and they got into an argument. It's something, it's like a piece of information. It's like something somebody not telling you. Or a collective, what you could be doing is, you know something could be going on. And you could like, you might decide to do something by yourself. Or keep somebody out your business. Because somebody probably not telling y'all something. And that's telling you a lot. So you might distance yourself or separate yourself. Or something like that. To protect your finances. Or you might realize it's best that you do something alone. Because somebody not telling you something. I also heard that Beyonce song. Me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. It's what I found out. So y'all could be asking somebody something. And this person might tell you no. Or somebody like, I don't know. And you like, I need an answer now. Or I need it now. It's like somebody won't help you meet a deadline. So it's like you can't do nothing but trust yourself or something. It's say like being a thoughtful steward for your money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So collective, for some of you guys, what I heard was, Something could be going on with, with a co-worker or your business partner. Collective, you could be wondering with your co-worker or your business partner. But for some of y'all, don't stop what you're doing. Because you're manifesting abundance. And whatever's going on with your co-worker or your business partner, they're not going to survive anyway. So whether it's like something... Spirit wants you to keep doing what you're doing to manifest this abundance. 
or it's like somebody lazy and it's like it's not obvious or collective somebody going through something and spirit don't want you to stop manifesting to check up on somebody because this person not going to survive anyway so manifest your abundance or something like that So, for some of y'all, this is not someone, this could be an associate. This is not someone you, this is not your fourth house, this is not your family member or something like that. This could be a neighbor or an associate. So, this could be someone who, if you found out they passed away, passed away you'll probably be hurt for like a day or a couple of hours, you get over it. This could be a coworker or something. And collective, you can do this alone. Somebody was probably supposed to come into work and they not. It's because they're lazy or somebody injured and they're not going to survive. So you stay at work and make and manifest this abundance or something like that. It's like if you find out what's going on with this person, it's like you you not gonna manifest. It might mess up your day. Or you might close down your business. It, it, something might mess up your whole day. Or something like that. Well, collective, you're interacting with a married couple and don't depend on these two people or don't depend on this married couple. Because they could be trying to manipulate you. They in cahoots together to manipulate you. Or this married couple finances is not as stable as you think or something. Or these two people. Yeah, the eight of swords. Y'all might, um... For some of y'all, y'all put a soulmate connection on hold to find something out. And that might not be the best idea, but it ain't a big deal. Y'all could have put something on hold because you want to figure out what's going on with somebody. And this person ate swords. It depends on who this person is to you. It, it depends. For some of y'all, y'all might decide not to go to work. Because you might go visit somebody in jail or something. And for some of y'all, that's not a wise decision. Collective, for some of y'all, I heard somebody might go to a jail visit, miss work, go to a jail visit, and this person not going to show up to the visit. This inmate or something, because they could be lazy. Or somebody deceased or something. Or something. Some of y'all could be doing a favor for someone. Collective, this is like you going up to like a jail visit to like do a favor for somebody. Like you're going to visit somebody else for somebody else. You're going to visit this inmate for somebody else. And something might be a waste of time and you might miss a lot of money or something. Clarify the two of cups coming out sideways. Clarify the two of cups coming out sideways. Yeah, the seven of wands. For some of y'all, it was meant for y'all to be single at this time. It was meant for y'all to be single. So, collective, y'all could be the queen of cups. And in the past, your soulmate connection was stagnated because your competitor could have got one up over you. It's like, collective, you could have a new lover, but your new lover lazy? Or your new lover might pass away? That's because it was meant for you to be single. Or you keep asking somebody for money. And it's not meant for you to ask this person or these people for money. It say be a thoughtful steward for the money you already have. So y'all could be asking. This energy could be banks or it's people. And it's like you got a no in the past. 
or you could have said, you know what, never mind. I don't let me go to the let me go ask somebody else. So somebody told you no, or you was like, you know what, never mind. I don't want the loan from you, or I don't want I don't want to borrow no money for you, or something like that. But y'all could be going towards somebody else, and it ain't gonna work with this other person either. So somebody eight swords. Collective, y'all could know somebody in jail, and this person that's in jail, they got some money put up. And you could be trying to ask this person that's in jail to give you access to some of their money that they got put up on the outside. Could I find a queen to put? Yeah, the seven of pentacles here. Yeah. Y'all could be the queen of cups, and y'all contemplating on how to manifest something. Or y'all want to go to a bank or ask somebody for a loan money. This is or banks, institutes, or people. Or like, you know, when I say people, like friends, family, or something like that. Somebody could also be contemplating whether or not they want to go through with a pregnancy as well. Or somebody trying to get pregnant. That queen of cups. I think I got an eight of swords. Or well, it's a pregnant female out here <laughs> that's contemplating doing something, but this female might not because she pregnant. This female gonna say, I don't want to go to jail while I'm pregnant. And that's the only reason why this female not doing something. Something this female wanted to do. Yeah, this could be a pregnant female out here. Or it's a pregnant female that's facing jail time. Or somebody did something and they're wondering, is they going to jail? Or it's a pregnant female. This female is like, I'm not going to do that because I'm pregnant and I do not want to go to jail while I'm pregnant. Or something like that. This queen of cups probably wanted to offend her competitor in love. Or this man can have somebody pregnant and he like, I'm not going to do that to my child's mother or my wife like that. I'm not going to jail while so-and-so pregnant. That's the only thing that's stopping that queen of cups from doing something. Because, yeah. Clear by the eight of swords. So the queen of cups can be in a bit of a comp competition. The nine of swords. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. whoever if the queen of cups is going to visit somebody in jail this person guilty the, if the queen of cups is contemplating doing harm to someone the queen of cups is like damn I'm going to go to jail and it's like the queen of cups is like yeah I did it uh -huh, it was me or it's like the queen of cups is aware that if they try to do something and get away with it everybody going to know they did it or the Queen of Cups could be pregnant. <laughs> and the Queen of Cups is like, I can't even run. <laughs> it's like this Queen of Cups want to do harm to somebody, but the Queen of Cups could be, oh man, this Queen of Cups like eight, nine months pregnant. This Queen of Cups like, Dag, I can't even run from the crime scene. Or something like that. This Queen of Cups like, everybody gonna know it was me. Well, that Queen of Cups trying to go towards an air sign. Or well, some of y'all dealing with a co-worker. Or something. And somebody could be passing away. And y'all could be trying to decide if y'all want to leave work early or... Some of y'all is trying to decide, do y'all want to put y'all manifestations on hold? That's what y'all are trying to decide. Because somebody could be in hospice or the hospital. Um, or collective, you could be saying, if so-and-so is passing away, I'm not going up there. But if so-and-so is in good condition and I know they're going to survive, I'll go visit them. But if so-and-so is passing away, I'm not going up there. And collective, the cards want you to know that so-and-so is not going to survive, so don't go up there or something like that. Just don't go. 
or like maybe a crime scene looks very bad a crime scene probably looks very bad a collective don't go somebody could be calling y'all don't go or something like that or something I heard somebody say, no, you shut your mouth. So, Collective, you could have said that to a lover. Collective, you might get a phone call or... Somebody said, no, you shut your mouth. I'm on the phone. I'm trying to hear what someone so saying. So, somebody said that to the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Cups said something. Or, Collective, this person that's passing away, that's passing away might call you. So, Collective, this is like you have a soulmate connection. And then it's like, you, the, it's like, say like the Queen of Cups is your, the Queen of Cups is your lover. And the Nine of Swords energy is your lover's ex. It's like, Collective, you interacting with your lover, but your lover's ex is in trouble and might call your lover. And Collective, your lover going to say, you shut your mouth. I'm, I'm on the phone with somebody that's Nine Swords. So, collective, it could be somebody else you're interacting with. And somebody going to tell you to be quiet because they got an emergency phone call. Or somebody going to say, shut your mouth or something like that. Because somebody focused on this person that's in jail or that's passing away or something. Collective, if your lover abruptly leave your energy because something going on with their ex or something, your lover's ex is not going to survive or something like that. Or something. That Queen of Cups like, shut your mouth. I'm trying to hear. Or something. This could also just be like a random 911 call. And somebody trying to find somebody location. This person that's passing away probably can't talk. It's like this person dialed 911, but they can't talk or something. And that Queen of Cups could be a 911 operator or something like that. Or it could be a rookie, or it could be a seasoned 911 dispatcher training a rookie. And this seasoned 911 dispatcher might snatch the phone or do something. Because somebody ain't taking a phone call right or something like that. So it might also be two co-workers that get into a little dispute. Because I heard it's it's like time is of the essence. And this seasoned worker might do something a little inappropriate. But it was the right thing to do. Because somebody could be in trouble or something. It's like somebody take a, an emergency phone call, but they're not doing it right. And the seasoned person might take over the phone. It's like somebody asking the wrong question. Somebody going to say, shh, or shut your mouth, or be quiet, or something. Or somebody going to say, give me the phone, or something. Yeah, that Queen of Cups could be seasoned, or this Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Or that Queen of Cups is seasoned. It's like the Queen of Cups is listening for background noise, breathing patterns. It's like that Queen of Cups got to listen because they know, or something like that. Or the Queen of Cups trying to listen for, like, outside noises. Is it a train nearby? Do they hear cars? That Queen of Cups is seasoned at something. Or somebody like, no, let the Queen of Cups do it. Let the Queen of Cups do it. Because the Queen of Cups could be more seasoned at something. This could be 911 calls or something like that. So, Collective, if you had a co-worker or something trying to compete with you, something going to happen and it's going to be obvious that you deserve a promotion or you the one who's more seasoned. And y'all boss might say, be quiet and let the Queen of Cups do it. Let the Collective do it. 
It's like this person is not going to survive, but it's like it's still something that the Queen of Cups specializes in that this other person don't. Or something like that. So this Seven of Wands could be y'all boss. And somebody going to say, just chill, just chill. Or something like that. Somebody going to say, let that Queen of Cups do it. Or collective, you at work with a co-worker or business partner and somebody going to run off the job, they might get an emergency phone call. And somebody saying, let the Queen of Cups go. Like, let the Queen, just let them go. And collective, you could be mad because you don't want to do something by yourself, but you can. You could do this by yourself or something like that. Or it's like collective, you could be at a bank trying to get a loan and it's like the person that's helping you with the loan they might get an emergency phone call and it's like you like <clears throat> so something could be going on at a bank too this could be a security guard and somebody somebody saying we gonna let so and so out but that's it ain't nobody getting in and nobody else is going out or something so collective something could be going on you might be stuck inside of a bank or something It's like collective, these people ain't, this is business. It's like, you don't love these people. Something could be business or something. Or collective, you could be saying, I don't care if so-and-so got an emergency phone call. I want to finish this loan. I want this loan or something like that. Or something. <laughs> Or a collective spirit telling you, don't be so inconsiderate. Because somebody family member not going to survive. So if somebody was helping you do something and they stopped and left. Collective, this, let this person go or don't be mad at this person. Because somebody family member not going to survive or something like that. And you talking junk because you wanted some money or something. But it's like this person's family member in danger or something. You talking junk because you wanted some money or something. Spirit telling you stop or something. Or oh, y'all be careful getting into a fight or something. Y'all be careful getting into a fight. Because y'all might injure somebody or somebody else going to injure somebody. And this person not going to survive. And somebody going to end up in jail. But it's like somebody didn't know that they injured somebody or something like that. And collective, this person wasn't really your family like that. This could have been a co-worker. Y'all be careful getting into it at work. 